Hello everyone, it's Shannon here from Craft Ghetto. In today's video, I'm going to show you a really cool coloring technique using Marvi Uchida watercolor pencils and their La Plume blender marker. First, let's take a look at the waffle flower products we'll be using today. This is the Jim Rat combo set. It comes with the Jim Rat stamp set and the Jim Rat matching die. I'll also be using the layering wood grain stamp set to create my background. I'll create a colorful burst with the rain check stamp set. I'll use that uh, triangular stamp there. And then I will add a stitched border using the A2 nesting rectangles one die. We're going to start with the Jim Rat stamp set. I'm going to use all the hamsters except for one. I'm going to use my Misty to stamp them so I can get all five of these hamsters mounted and stamped in one go. I'm going to ink them up in VersaFine Onyx Black ink, which is a waterproof ink, and stamp them on this 110 pound white cardstock. Even though I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink today, I actually won't use any water to blend or color these hamsters. I'm using VersaFine because I found it had the least amount of smudging when I used the La Plume 2 blender marker than when I used uh, other dye-based inks like Memento Tuxedo Black. Now that I've stamped the hamster, hamsters, I'm moving on to stamping a spotlight for them to stand on top of. This is from the Jim Rat stamp set as well, and again I'm using VersaFine Onyx Black ink just to be consistent. Now I'm going to add a little afro to this one hamster here. I'm actually going to make him look a little bit like Richard Simmons. I just love their little retro workout outfits and that's what inspired me to create this one hamster to make him look like Richard Simmons. So I used a permanent marker to freehand his afro and now I'm ready to move on to coloring. I have a 24 set of Marvi Uchida watercolor pencils and here is the Le Plume 2 blender marker that I'm going to use to do all my blending today. I'm going to start by pulling out the watercolor pencils I'm going to use to color this hamster. I'm actually going to only use four colors to color him in. I'm going to just quickly color or lightly color uh, basically like the lower portion. Sometimes I'll color a little bit beyond like halfway because I'm going to end up blending and moving this color and spreading this color around to fill in any white spots. But I try to concentrate color or put more pressure on areas that I would be in shadow or darker to create the look of volume or shape. I use a little blue here just to add a little shadow to the white areas and then a brown here for his hair. And again you can see here I don't color the whole hair because again I'm going to move that color around to fill in those white spaces. So now that I've got it colored with my colored pencils, I'm now moving on to the blender marker. And the real important thing here is that you clean the tip of your marker when you change colors. And I like to start, just to, just to make sure I don't make any mistakes, I like to start with my lightest color first. That's why I worked on the hamster's um, fur. And then I moved on to the blue area that was on the white of his shirt and then I move to the darker colors. And all I have to do is take that uh, blender marker and just blend over the colored areas and that will move and grab the uh, color or pigment and spread it over the surface of the paper. So the way that I'm cleaning this blender is simply by rubbing the tip over a clear area on my cardstock here. That's why you see those little smudges around the hamsters. That's me just cleaning that tip of that blender marker and getting it ready for a new uh, color. And so the process here again is just me coloring these hamsters in with the watercolor pencils. Once I have the hamsters colored, then I take the blender marker and blend the colors out to get a nice smooth gradation. And uh, I make sure before I move to any colors, new colors, that I always clean the tip. And then, then I'm making sure I don't get any like red and blue areas. I just make sure it's nice and neat that way. I'm going to play a little music here and let you follow along as I color. And I'll meet you back when I'm just about done.
So I'm back now and just about finished coloring up this last hamster and then I'll hold the uh, paper up to the camera so you can see the coloring a little bit better. I really liked using this technique to color these guys in. I liked, I had a really smooth blend and I was able to color these guys in with just a 24 pack of colored pencils. So a lot of bang for your buck here with these, these products. So I went ahead and die cut the hamsters and the spotlights with the matching dies. I couldn't die cut uh, my little Richard Simmons hamster out because of the hair that I added. So I'm just gonna fussy cut him out, keeping, keeping him consistent with the other hamsters and leaving a white border around him. I think the only trick or key for fussy cutting is making sure you're rotating your paper to get the nice rounded et or cuts. So now that he's all cut out, I'm going to move on to creating my background. I have an A2 panel here of some really light brown cardstock, and I'm going to use Coffee Loves Milk to stamp one of the layers from the layering wood grain stamp set. I'm going to mount the stamp on a very large acrylic block here, ink up the stamp, and just stamp it down. This is a layering stamp set, but I'm actually only going to use one of the layers, the layer that's a little bit more open, less solid, to stamp a couple times repeatedly to create a wood floor uh, for my uh, background. I'm actually going to stop stamping here because I really only need half this panel. I'm going to go ahead and trim that brown panel down to two and eighth by five and a half, so right down the middle. I'm going to use that half that's completely stamped and I will add it to this white A2 panel here, but first I'm going to stamp a burst background. I want a beautiful rainbow burst to be behind my hamsters. But before I can stamp it, I need to divide or section off my A2 panel here. So I found the center horizontally and vertically. And now I'm going to divide the, the horizontal side up into six sections. So I'm just dividing those two halves into three, and that makes six total. I'm going to take this triangle stamp, from, which is from the Rain Check stamp set, and I'm going to stamp it in a rainbow of waffle flower ink colors in between each of the sections that I sectioned uh, off at the top. This orange color is Oh Happy Day. The next color is yellow and it, it is called You Said What. I'll finish off this right side with a green called Chirp Chirp. And then I'll start to work on the left side here. The next color is going to be a purple called Happy Go Lucky. And my final color is a blue called Daydreaming. And you can see here that I had, I angled all of these triangle stamps towards the center. I did make a center point um, to kind of help me make sure I, I was keeping the same center point, point consistent every time. Now I just removed my pencil marks and now I'm ready to adhere my wood grain paper to my panel. I'm going to use a tape runner here, just run a strip along the bottom and then stick down my wood grain paper. Then I will grab the largest die from the A2 Nesting Rectangles 1 die set, line it up with my A2 panel, so I'm making sure the corners are lined up into the, the die. Then I'll grab a little piece of micropore tape and adhere it or put it down onto the die to hold it in place on two spots of the die and then I will grab the top plate and run it through my die cutting machine. This die will add a beautiful stitched border to this panel and I just think it's a nice detail. It really kind of finishes the edges of this uh, front panel for our card. And I'll just hold the panel up to the camera so you can see the stitched border a little bit better. All right, so we're on home stretch here. I've got all our die cuts, all our hamsters and their spotlights, and we are going to start by adhering the little spotlights down onto our uh, card base or our, our panel here. I, because you can see I've got them arranged kind of in a triangular shape. I'm just gonna use a little liquid glue to stick them down, and now that I have those stuck down, I'm now ready to stick down my hamsters. These first two that go to the far right and far left, I'm just going to adhere them down with some more liquid glue. I'm going to attach the remaining three hamsters with foam tape. I have two different kinds of foam tape that I'm going to use. I purchased both at my local 99 cent store. One is thick and one is thin. 
I would say the thick one is about double the thickness of the thin. I'm going to use a piece of the thick foam tape and put that behind my Richard Simmons hamster. And the thinner foam tape I'm going to put behind the purple and the yellow hamster. What this will do is it'll give the look of depth. It'll make um, the red hamster, or my Richard Simmons hamster, look like he's appearing more out front than the other hamsters. This just adds a nice little depth to the card. With all my images in place, I'm now ready to adhere my panel to my card base. I have an A2 top folding card base turned on its side. I'm going to use some liquid adhesive to stick the panel down. Just going to hold the panel in place for a second till the glue uh, sets a little bit. And then I'm going to move on to stamping my sentiment. The sentiment also comes from the Jim Rat stamp set. I'm just pulling it off here and centering it on my card. It says, we don't sweat, we shine, which I think is perfect for this card with my Richard Simmons hamster because he had that sweating to the oldies workout video. So I think it's just perfect, it's hilarious. I'm gonna ink this up in VersaFine Onyx Black ink, just stamp it there in the center. The last thing I wanna do is take one of these glitter markers by Marvi Uchida, the red one here, and just add a little sparkle to Richard's top. I'm sure if you are familiar with him, you know that he has to have some sequence on his clothes somewhere. So I'm just gonna add a little sparkle to his top here, and that will complete the card. Now that we're all done, I'll hold the card up to the camera so you can get a better look. I really love how the coloring turned out. I really enjoyed coloring with the watercolor pencils and using the blender marker to blend it out. I really thought I had smooth blends and it was very easy to do. I'll definitely do more coloring like that in the future. And I just can't help but chuckle whenever I see that Richard Simmons hamster. I just think he's hilarious. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want any more information on the products I use, please visit waffleflower.com. You can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching.